Have you been wanting to pre-populate your form fields? Let me show you how to do that with a spreadsheet and by editing the URL. Hey, Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So for this example, we're gonna start with a brand new form. So up in the top left-hand corner, we're going to create a form. And I like to start from scratch on the classic form. And for this example, let's go ahead and just bring in the full name, email, phone number, and then let's come down here to maybe drop down. So let's go ahead and change the name of this to sandwich choice and let's edit our options to ham, turkey, and pepperoni. Now to pre-populate this from a spreadsheet, we're going to utilize a widget. So left-hand side, we're going to come up here to widgets and I'm going to search for spreadsheet. And we can see we have two that popped up. What we're looking for is spreadsheet to form. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in right on top. And we can see the widget settings opened up on the right-hand side. Now this is where we are going to upload our file. Now the things that we need in order to make our spreadsheet are the labels of our elements. So here we can see we have name, email, phone number, and sandwich. And this needs to be very specific. So if you have a dash in the email, if you have first name, whatever your element labels are, that is what we need. Now this first one is going to be called unique code no matter what. So let's go ahead and head over to our spreadsheet. So in this row one, this is where we're going to enter in all of those form fields. So that first one is going to be unique code then we have name, email, we have phone number, make sure you spell it correctly, and then we have sandwich. Perfect. So now we need to assign unique codes to each person. These can be numerous numbers, as long as you know what they are. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with one, two, and three. And let me go ahead and populate this out. All right, so we have their name, their email, their phone number, and which sandwich type they would like. So next we're going to go up to a file, we're going to download, and then for this we want this to be a Microsoft Excel file. And we're good to go right down here. So let's head back to our form builder, we're going to upload a file and open. So we are good to go. So next we need to choose which column our unique codes are going to be in. It's going to be that unique code. And that doesn't have to be in the first one. It can be at the end if you want it to, just as long as you come here and you choose which column it is in. And we should be good. Let's go ahead and update the widget. And let's head up to publish. Let's open in a new tab. Now, if we choose, let's say number two, autocomplete. Now we have Lacey, her email, her phone number, and she wants a ham sandwich. Let's go ahead and change that to number three. And now we're on Catherine. Now, another way that you can pre-populate a form is by manipulating the URL. So in order to do that, we're going to need some details from our form. So I came back over to the builder and let's say we want to pre-populate their name. So if I click on the name field, I'm gonna to head to properties, up to advanced, down at the very bottom, we have the field details. Now here is where we get that unique name. So for the name to populate, we need it to be name. And here we have first name and last name. So let's head back over to our form. We can see our form URL up here at the top. And in order to make this super easy, you can utilize the help article to copy and paste to make this really simple for you. That's exactly what I did. I'm gonna paste in and we can see here. So we have that original URL at the beginning. We have a question mark. Then we have name. Then we have open bracket, close bracket, first equals Jane. Then the ampersand sign is telling it that we're gonna add something else. So we have name brackets last equals Doe. So let's go ahead and hit the enter key. And we can see now that it's filled with Jane Doe. So if we head back over, let's look and see what email is. Let's just verify just to make sure. All right, so the unique name for email is email. So let's head back. So now we have their name. Let's do the ampersand email. Now we did the brackets for the name because we had two different fields within the one. So because email is its field on its own, we don't need those brackets. So we have email equals, then we'll do jane at gmail.com. 
then enter. And we can see jane at gmail.com down here. So let's see what phone number is. Phone number with the N capitalized. Let's head on back. We'll do ampersand phone number equals 8675309, enter. And now our phone number is filled, but it's as simple as that. If you wanna keep going, just make sure that the unique field ID is correct before you start plugging and playing. If you have more questions about pre-populating fields, maybe from another form, definitely check out our user guide for more information on that. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.